someday I'm going to work for a company that buys its windshield wiper blades from an auto parts store and not a dollar store. Seriously. <laughs> These are crap. Absolute crap. I just clean them up. And they're just they're just junk. Be better off having a monkey sit on the hood with a sweet a squeegee. Alright, I'm out here in uh, Greece, New York. Two stop delivery today. Rolling on out to Brockport, New York. Getting a little snow out here today. Good time. I guess they're supposed to get anywhere from three to six inches when all is said and done with this. And of course, I'm gonna catch every single light rolling on. Alright, this here is uh, Dewey Ave. I believe it's also called Route 18. Take this up to Route 104. Take 104 over to 390, over to 5, actually 490, then 531. Which will take over to 31, which will bring me out to where I can even go off of Rockport. I could just jump out of 31 here and rock cha cha Chester, but uh, it's quicker to go 104, 390, 490, 531 over there. I don't think any company makes a decent windshield wiper blade anymore. I've heard a lot of good things about Rain-X, and I've had Rain-X products, and they're all crap. They don't work for me. I've been told, you gotta spray the stuff on your windshield. Yeah, it doesn't work either. That just smudges stuff. Are you gonna buy these blades? They mold to your windshield. Yeah, they lasted about two months before they fell apart. Then you get the heavy-duty winter blades, and they're not much better. It just seems like nobody makes a decent windshield wiper blade anymore. You've heard of that Harry's uh, Shave Club? Maybe I'll start a uh, Grebix windshield wiper blade club. I'll buy a windshield wiper blade factory and <laughs> engineer some decent windshield wiper blades. I sell them for dirt cheap. Cheap! We have the cost of the cheap ones in the Wally World. Or Advanced Auto, or AutoZone, or wherever you buy your auto parts. O'Reilly's, or whatever it's supposed to be. Napa. On a roll today. I'm anti-windshield wiper blade, I guess. I don't know. I just like to be able to see where I'm going, you know? Without streaks and lines. Alright, enough, enough, enough. According to the uh, thermometer on the truck here, it's a balmy 18 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, it feels warmer than that. Maybe the thermometer on this truck isn't too accurate. This one my phone said 22 earlier. Still feels warmer than that today, though. Uh, now it's because my blood pressure is going through the roof over these stupid windshield like blades. <laughs> I just had a thought, but I don't want to jinx myself. Normally when I roll up this road, I'm going to say it anyway, I hit every single stoplight on the way. That doesn't seem to be the case right now. Roads here are pretty slushy. I'm taking my time. Rolling on 490 this morning was fun. It hadn't been plowed yet. And holy cow, it was like between 15 and 20 miles per hour mostly. A few spots I was down around 10. You know, you get the give a little gas, you know, and it starts fish channel a little bit, so just let off. Take things naturally, I guess.
Plus, I've got a short haul trucking vlog going along with uh, this dash cam or window cam or whatever cam we're calling this this week. But that'll be out way before this video. So. Alright, well, yes, Route 18 East. Well, that's a cool idea. Guy has a, uh, it's like a small hand truck with a strap, and he's got whatever it is he's carrying on the hand cart, and he's got the strap over his shoulder and pulling it. Well, that's genius. That's taking the initiative of coming up with an easier way to do something. Maybe you should market that go on QVC. Probably sell, probably sell tens and twenties of them. Make hundreds of dollars. that fish tank show. Maybe they'll buy into it. Alright, turn it on to 104 West. It's always a good time. <coughs> Excuse me, it's always a good time from here. Can't get up to the intersection because this guy is kind of hanging over to this lane with his plow. sideways a little bit. Yeah, that was a pretty wide turn, but uh, sliding as I was turning, I didn't want to hit the building there. Tight corner. It doesn't look like it until you're turning on here. This here's uh, Route 104 West. Ratchatachester. the kiddies had school out here today. Or if they'll be going home early because of the conditions. I've been listening to the radio. I didn't hear of any uh, school closings, but the station I listen to out here doesn't really, uh, I don't think they do a lot of school closings. I think they're anti-school closings, as a matter of fact. My dad worked at a radio station back in the day. This is back in the uh, mid-80s. And, uh, they're outside of Utica, they're up there in uh, Remsen, New York, and uh, nobody would ever call a station the school closings. And at the time, as far as ratings go, he had like the top morning show in the area on the AM dial. And people would constantly call the station, hey, is this school open, is that school open, and whatever. So one morning, he listened to another station, got all the local school closings, went through and announced every single one of them said they're all open caused a huge uh, mess. Needless to say, after that day, the uh, local schools were calling my dad to let him know uh, their school was closed or delayed or whatever. Pretty funny stuff. Boy, these windshield wipers are doing an awesome job today, aren't they? Uh, weather like this, you just take your time. Get there when you get there. I ain't no hurry. Plus, I think my appointment in Brockport's like at 11.30. And normally I get there an hour early and have to wait. So, I can take my time today. I'd really like to pull over and uh, clean off these windshield wiper blades again. There's really nowhere for me to uh, pull over here. I'm getting on 390 now.
never get a red light when you need one. When you don't need one, you catch every single one. You know what? All right, getting off the 104 West, rolling on to 390, uh, what is it, southbound? Yeah, 390 south. I won't be on this for very long, though. I think the, uh, it's either the first exit or the second exit is the exit I need, right? right? No, it's a little further, never mind. I'm thinking if I was coming up from Lexington. I'll tell you a little ways to go here. Now, if this truck had better windshield wiper blades, uh, probably have a better view of the road, huh? Alright, let's see how 390 is. Oh, it's a mess. A little slushy here as well. One's looking pretty good. It seems uh, the farther west you go, the better the roads get. And they still look a little wet and slushy, but uh. <laughs> they look good, but they're still a little slippery. Well, I guess uh, looks to be deceiving a little bit there. Yeah, I got all excited, like, ooh, look, I can go, 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 go! Nope. Not happening. That's alright. I got time. Plenty of time. Here at the uh, at my second stop, and it hasn't been plowed back here. <laughs> wow! Corner is always fun. Usually you have to swing really wide to get around it without snow. Uh, see if I can do this without getting stuck or hitting the building. Alright, I got this. I got it. Just another day at the office <laughs> in the winter time. Is it spring yet? I've had enough. Moving the snow, moving the snow. Oh. Another one coming from the other way, and uh, <laughs> I'm 
I'm kind of in their way right now, but I can't really move because I'm backed up to the dock. All done out here in Brockport. Rolling out the Rock Cha Cha Chester, which I just talked about in my short haul trucking vlog that I'm making at the same time that I'm making this. Because uh, I have all I can do to keep one vlog going, and I've got two going today. <laughs> only because it's like a winter wonderland. That's the only reason why I got the old dash cam, window cam, whatever this thing is. I'll just roll a dash cam, it's a lot easier. It's close to the dash, right? Even though it's mounted on the window. I can't wait till spring. Dingle, dingle, dingle.